I think it's important to branch out and be more than just a cheerleader. My name is Laura Kassler and I am a junior at Alma College. I cheer because I love cheerleading. I don't do it for the winning sake or the rings or the trophies or anything. There's something about the feeling that it gives me when I take the mat, when I compete. Like you feel strong and you feel powerful and you feel like a different person when you're on the mat competing. It's given me time management. It's taught me how to balance more things than just cheerleading because you come to college and yes, being on a college sport is amazing, but I think it's about more than just that. You want to be able to do different things alongside with that. And so I think having everything we do with cheer has taught me how to balance my life outside of it as well. I started dancing when I was two and a half years old. I started with ballet class and then when I was like six, I was allowed to take tap and jazz and baton. So I twirled the baton at my dance studio. It was pretty cool. As I was growing up though, I had a definite favorite, which was tap. And it was kind of like, that was always my thing. It was my go-to, it was what I was best at. It's what I had the most fun doing. But when the time came when I was trying to take six dance classes and practice for cheer four days a week, it got way too much. I dropped dance and I always, I missed it throughout the years, but I knew I made the right decision and I still know that I did. But I always was like, when I had the chance to like tap around my house or when I had the chance to join the marching band and twirl the baton, I took that opportunity in a heartbeat. I, I don't think I realized how much I missed it until I started doing it again. Tap is something that I can definitely see myself pursuing beyond my time here at Alma. I mean, I know there's opportunities here that I can still continue, but I think when the difference between tap and cheer is both cheer and tap are very mental things, but tap is mental in a different way, and I think that's something that I can keep doing far beyond my time I can physically cheer. And cheerleading, it's hard to do once I graduate because you need three other girls to stunt with. You need to be able to flip your body upside down. And my time is coming though, <laughs> hang those shoes up because I don't know how much longer my body can take that. When I tap, it's you look in a mirror and you watch yourself and that's all you have to focus on. You have to think about what's going on, what steps you're doing, if you're making the right sounds and it's, it's focused on you. So I think it's just something that, it's like a nice self-care sort of thing where it's relaxing and it's something that I can do that'll benefit myself. And I feel like I don't do a lot of things that are like just something that I wanna do because I wanna do it. And that's kind of what tap is. People aren't gonna be like, oh, that girl is the tap dancer. Like, no, that's not really how it is. But that doesn't really take away how important it is to me because I think tap, is, tap has given me things that cheer hasn't and cheer has given me things that, things that tap hasn't.